So we're gonna be testing out for out here at Gibbs Hill Lighthouse out here in Bermuda by all in Bermuda. And we're gonna be testing out the DRC car and the other car we got. And first we're gonna start off with the DRC. I'm going to show for now. Okay, I'm going to pick it up a little bit. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to try and do something. This turning's pretty good. And it's got a good grip. The reason why the back is up like that is because uh, while I was testing it out before, it's a, uh, uh, what's it called? It's holder things that came off a bit. I was just probably going a bit too rough with it. Okay, okay now I'm going to show you a real demonstration of its speed. Okay, I'm going to start from back up here. Oops, wrong way. Easy. This control is pretty easy. I'm just pretty new at this. But for beginners, uh, it, it's pretty good. You just have to get used to it when the turning can be a bit sensitive. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, that was pretty fast. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Next on, we're gonna move and try to test out the buggy car. Make sure you unplug it before turning it off so that you don't waste battery. Okay, let's try out this guy. Actually, gotta undo the hooks. Lift up the hood, and I think there should be a switch in here somewhere. Uh, you just lift up. You just take off these latches like this, put them straight forward sideways like that, and then you slide that up and off uh oh yeah here's the switch on it goes and the lid just slides right back on well not slides it, it's a bit rough but that's all right it's hot out here in bermuda with it, it being summer and all Here you go. I think we're ready. Oh, my legs. Okay, I'm just going to start off. So. Whoa, it's pretty powerful too. And it's quite big compared to the other one. Oh, it feels good driving. It's turning uh, quite all right, actually. Now I'm going to try and pick up the pace. Okay, it's a bit faster. Not as uh, forceful as the other one, not as speedy, but it's really good looking. Pardon? It, this isn't sponsored. It's sponsored. Oh, it's, it's good responsive wise. Okay, I'm going to try and test out its real speed. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, this thing is fast. That's pretty good. I don't think it drifts as well as the other one. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at those bumps. 
Now that is truly really nice. That is nice. I like this car. Uh, quality wise, it's pretty good. Well, that's the car for you. Uh, to tell you which one I like the best, uh, I say I like the look of this one the best, and it feels quite nice. Uh, this one's for like off roading, I guess. Uh, and the other one would be for like speed and going fast if you want. But this one's good too. Uh, uh, we should test it on like some rough ground. So let me. Let's go find some. I should. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. That was by accident. Yeah, this thing is heavy. If I jumped it off, it probably would have maybe broke. Break. Okay. Broken. Here we are at the training grounds where we're going to really test these cars' strength and durability with their driving skills. First off is going to be the flame piece car, or the buggy as I like to call it. Oh, oh. oh it's slipping. I need more grip and not that slipping. Okay. Ah! Okay, here we go. We're moving something. if we can get it. This doesn't seem good. Uh, it would be better if it was four-wheel drive. I'd rather it be four-wheel drive. Because then it would be able to get over something small like this. But for an off-road car, it's, it's okay. It's okay for an off-road car. It needs more grip in my opinion. All systems go. Oh yeah, this one seems more akin to the environment. Oh, seems 
Mountain tech. Oh. Okay, let's give it some more juice. Oh no. That's it doesn't look like this is going anywhere. So this one can't even make it up. But okay, wait a second. If I oh there there it's stuck. It's stuck. Well it made it up further, but it still couldn't quite make it up. See if we can make it over where the other car failed. Full speed ahead. Oh. Uh oh. Oops. We got flipped over. Oh. Ah. Let's just shake it off some. This is going to be so sandy when I have to clean it off. stuck in its wheel. We don't want that to happen. Oh. Into the forest we go. Okay, let's see if it can pass the trenches of leaves. seem to get get it stuck a bit but it's still making it out just fine look at the distance on that thing let's turn it back and head back 